Hi there and hello, I'm Manita and I'm the artist, owner and creator at Teacup Girl. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I actually have a moving vlog for you and I am filming the intro at the same time as I filmed the outro even though this goes over a couple of days because I forgot to film an intro. So here we are, I'm sitting down and I'll tell you all about it. So we have actually announced on our social media on Instagram and Facebook that Teacup Girl is moving from Thailand back to Australia, where we are originally from. We're going back to our home town of Canberra to basically start another stage in our journey and adventure as a family and also as small business owners. So it's been an amazing two years here in Thailand and we've really been grateful for the opportunity that we've had to be able to spend the time here. It's basically enabled us to start Teacup Girl and it's been so, so, so much fun. And I am still incredibly, incredibly happy that we've had this chance to do Teacup Girl, to have this adventure here, living overseas and doing something completely different that we haven't done before. It is time to go back. So I'm going to put in all the clips of us packing and doing all the things that we needed to do to get ready to go. Now, not all of that process has been filmed, obviously, because it was quite a long process over a lot of days and a lot of hours, but I hope that you enjoy the footage that we have got. So let's roll that. <laughs> okay, so now I have
how you fit it all in last time. Oh well, jigsaw puzzle games, I guess. So we're actually at the stage right now where everything is crazy messy. I've managed to put aside the stuff that I need to take with me on the airplane to Australia so that it's not on the shipping container for six weeks because that's a really long time. I need a bunch of stuff for Teacup Girl back with me. So I've put all of that aside and I've started to pack it into a suitcase, which is the hell. Just going to. There it is. That's my suitcase of Teacup Girl tools that I'm taking with me. And now it's doing the rest of the packing in my workstation so that we can actually break down my desk. So hopefully we can take my two desks, I have two desks, and a bunch of other stuff, other furniture with us as well. So, I'll show you a brief picture of the chaos, and then I will get back to packing, because all of this needs to get ready to pack tomorrow. The shipping container guys are coming tomorrow, and this needs to be ready for them to come. So, let's do it. And here we are. In the middle of the chaos, that always happens halfway through the packing process. You start off having enough space for everything and then the more you unpack, the more you pull things apart, the worse it gets. And it always gets a lot worse before it starts getting clean again. So that is why our house is trashed. Hooray. Let's go upstairs. I need to show everybody upstairs as well because it is insanely messy. Suitcase, boxes. the stairs. The kids were tobogganing on their pillows and then we have stuff in this room here that needs to be packed. Got all of that on this that needs to be packed. And then our room in here is a fun zone. Hurrah! <laughs> This is just some of the stuff that needs to be packed and ready to go. And we have more stuff in here. So, as you can see, there is quite a lot of work that needs to be done. That's our bed, don't mind that. We're in a state of chaos at the moment. I can feel your heart racing Cause everybody knows Yeah, everybody knows And I can feel your body shaking Every, every single touch That's just how it goes That's just how it goes oh, I, I. What I was trying to say is, yeah, so the packaging stuff, like the stickers and things, we're not taking, are we taking the leftover brooches with us in the suitcases? Are we going to open our shop again and, and have things available to sell? The problem is we need the boxes. Oh, the actual box boxes. The shipping. Yeah, the shipping, the gift boxes. Because everything else would fit in the suitcase, but the gift boxes won't. We'll fill up the hoon out of the suitcase. That means we're not taking the stickers and shipping stuff because the gift boxes. Well, unless we think we can fit them all in. Well, unless our gift box order arrives, some like the new ones. Because well, we could take the stickers; they're not that big. Yes, yeah, so we could take the stickers and stuff, put the leftover gift boxes that we have on the shipping container, and then maybe we might even get our new order before the end of the month when this comes with us anyway. Maybe. How are they going with that? I don't know, they haven't replied to me yet. Which is a bit weird. Because they usually like email me like every day going like, this is a thing, so I'm assuming they're getting one of the printing them. Okay, so hang on, this is going in the shipping can, these are going over here with us. What? I can't feel your heart racing Cause 
Hi guys, welcome back to the moving vlog. So last night you saw me and my husband packing up the Teacup Girl studio space, trying to get things sorted so that we could get everything ready for today because today the movers are coming. They're going to come and help us pack all our stuff and put it on a pallet so it can get shipped back to Australia. Now I didn't vlog all of the things that we packed last night or all the time we spent packing yesterday. One, because my back was starting to really hurt and I was really, really tired. So I just had to stop and just keep packing. So I turned the camera off. And so you'll see the difference in things when we go downstairs. It, it won't be a continuation. You'll like be like, oh, what happened to all the stuff? So that's why I have to actually get a move on because I have all of this still to deal with today. And the packers are coming in about one hour. So I have to be busy, 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 busy and get cracking. I am going to try and film some of that packing process again today. I don't know how much I'll actually be talking to the camera, so it might just be an inserted clip. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how much there is, but I am going to get on with my day. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. That might be our moving truck. Ah, I'm not ready. <sighs> so right now I'm just trying to sort out my jewelry because I'm an avid brooch collector, so that means that all brooches that I've collected while I've been in Thailand need to go back to Australia. And that means gathering them all up, so that can actually be done. Because right now, oh, that is our moving truck. Right now they're here for me. on a fairly regular basis so that they can come they can stay with me for a little while then when we actually go back I'll pick them up okay. is this why these drawers don't sit in properly? super often because it's a bit pokey actually. I like this one a lot so that one will stay. And this is my only brooch by Lee Stein who's a vintage brooch designer. Her company was like started in the 1960s I think or the 1970s. Anyway, she is very much an inspiration for a lot of brooch companies nowadays. There we go. And I'm going to keep as well. Which keep moving, I don't think. Oh, that's a bit weird. That was our moving truck, they just went away again, so. going on but I tell you what if it gives me more time I probably don't even care alright I also have this is my brooch packing cube and this is what I take my brooches in if I'm traveling somewhere or well, anywhere like if I'm going on a short day trip if I'm going on like an actual holiday this is where I pack all my brooches I pin them to a cloth this, I put them in and then I lay that cloth down so that the brooch underneath doesn't get scratched and that way then I can lay them up. These little sides here stop them from sliding anywhere. And so this is just a really secure way to pack. It's a, actually it's a tech cube. So it's supposed to be for cables and stuff like that. So if you're looking for something similar, look for a cube that's made for like computer people basically because it will keep, it will have like the nice padded sides it'll be solid so that it doesn't squish too easily 
and it can keep your brooches really, really secure. So this is what I take actually in my carry-on. Every time I fly, I take my brooches in carry-on. I've never had a problem with security. I've never had an issue with anybody asking to see them or anything like that. So if you're worried about that, it's not been a problem. I do prefer to take them in carry-on and not put them in my check-in luggage just because I worry what's gonna happen if they get lost. And you know, check luggage can be pretty treated pretty roughly. So obviously I don't want that for this. I prefer just to carry them myself. So that's them sorted out. And that will be my collection for the next two weeks. Well, actually six weeks because, no, that's not right. Two weeks in Thailand after this day, after this day we've still got two more weeks, roughly. And then our staff will take another four weeks to arrive in Australia to us because the shipping takes six weeks in total, but because we have two weeks here and four weeks in Australia, that's why. Um, but I actually left a huge part of my collection back in Australia as well because I actually have like some proper filing drawers that I've put all my brooches away in and sorted them out. So I'll be fine for brooches. Don't worry about me. I'll have something to wear. <laughs> Speaking of, I should wear something today. Let's pick something out quickly. I'm going to pop on this little guy. This is Deer Arrow. And I will put him right here because he's so cute and fun to wear on a t-shirt. There you go. <laughs> you can't hardly see him. He's just a little spot of colour. But I know he's there and that's what's important. All right, so I actually have to sort this out as well because this is my kitty's brooch collection. So my girls like wearing brooches just as much as I do. But apparently at the moment, it's covered in hands. Sorry, I just need to make sure that we've got everything sorted here. That's, but this is one of my Christmas. This is Teacup Girl. This is the bells on bobtails. It used to be a pin, but I also turned it into a brooch as well, not just a kayaking clip. And I was wearing this the other day because it's actually quite a lot of fun to wear, even though, yes, it's totally Christmas themed, but I mean, I think you should be able to enjoy Christmas all year round, to be honest. Why would I keep Christmas just for one time of the year <laughs> when it's fun? Do you enjoy it all the time? Um, well, let's see what I need to focus on next. Getting all of these packed away. Um, that's going to require boxes, which I have some of those. And potentially bigger boxes to put the small boxes in. Well, it turns out I haven't been able to vlog a single thing about our packing process because it has just been madness, like literally pulling everything out off the shelf and just shoving them into a big box, shoving them out the door so the packing guys can pack them. And I still have a lot of stuff to do, so I have to go back to that. But, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Woo! Look how clear it is after all of that hard work this morning. All the stuff has disappeared, it's vanished, the piles and piles of stuff that was everywhere, it's all gone. Well, there are a few bits and bobs left around, obviously, so there's still some stuff that we need for this next two weeks, but it's all cleared and it's pretty amazing how clear it is. So good, so, so good. My bed's a mess, obviously, still. But... All cleared. All cleared. And then we come downstairs. And... It's mostly clear! Yes! So good! I missed a box over here, which I didn't realise until too late, but hopefully I can manage to fit the tissue paper and stuff that needs to go away in the suitcases there. And then we cleared away this corner of stuff, cleared away the cabinets inside here. It's empty. Woo! So, very, very exciting. 
Look! Main yeah. studio! Oh my gosh! It now has washing in there instead of everything that was in this corner. I'll back up so you can see properly. But this space was my studio space and now it's empty. So I'm leaving this desk, we're leaving this desk behind because it wasn't a good size for me anyway. The height was wrong and it would really be a problem when I was working at my computer at this desk because it was the wrong height and no matter what I did, how high I put my chair, or what I did to adjust it, it just wasn't working. So this desk is staying behind. We are also leaving behind this bookshelf here because we just didn't have room to take it with us. But everything else has been cleared out. Well, that's it for this moving vlog, guys. It has been a crazy busy day. I woke up at 5.45 this morning. I got up at 6 and it has been non-stop chock block busy from that point onwards. It was kind of a bit of a shame that I couldn't film more of our moving and packing process, but really how interesting is hours and hours and hours of me picking up stuff, putting it in a box, picking up stuff, bubble wrapping it and putting it in the box. Not that interesting. You've pretty much got the TLDR of us packing to move back to Australia in that one sentence. So we'll leave it at that. I am kind of excited for our new adventure back in Australia. We'll be saying goodbye to sunny tropical Thailand weather in about two weeks and hello to freezing cold Canberra. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure I'm looking forward to that part of the change. I've gotten pretty used to wearing a sundress pretty much every day and at most needing a light cardigan to throw on when I go out. And yeah, it's gonna be vastly different when I get back home. I'm going to have to remember how to do this thing called layering and dressing for the cold. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. But I do hope that you'll be interested in coming along for that journey because it's going to be a whole new stage for Teacup Girl and I will show you what we're doing as we do it. We're planning to house sit for about six months. So we'll be setting up a temporary studio at that place. And then when we do find the house that we want to rent at in Australia, we'll be moving again to there. So that's also going to be kind of a bit topsy-turvy for the rest of 2019. But I am looking forward to our new adventures back in Australia and I hope you are too. So please do come back to the Teacup Girl YouTube channel to see some of that as it comes along. Don't forget to comment what you thought of the video. Let me know if you like this kind of video, whether you like other things better. And if you really do like seeing some of this stuff that we do behind the scenes at Teacup Girl, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye for now. Ready? Okay. Rolling. Quiet. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Where's my clapboard? Hello and welcome back to the Teacup Girl YouTube channel. I'm Benita and I'm the artist, owner and creator at Teacup Girl. I keep forgetting that I need to say the other thing when I say the other thing. Hi there and hello. Hi there and hello. I'm Benita and what? Sup? No, no sup. 